Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to put on a flat roof. Um, we're using this OS3 roofing board, it's a sterling board, it's a tongue groove board. We're going to use this five minute wood adhesive on it as well. We're going to fix it down with these 63mm ring cut nails and use this pass load. I am, what the hell is it called? An IM 350 plus. Um, so, as soon as you'll need, what we've done. Um, couple of screws to get this first board fixed down just to hold it then we've got this next board there we've already lined it up and cut it and what you want to do is get your first row right so what I'm going to use is just that straight edge there spirit level and you can see the gaps there's no gap there it's nice and straight all the way down so what we'll do then we're just going to push it back a little touch like such I'm going to put some of this glue in it it's a five minute glue the growth nice and rapid what it's a warm day today as well, so put plenty of glue on that joint like that. Then I'm going to pull it back together, and then what I'll do is then I'll drop the level on it and make sure it's right. Because once you get your first row right, then all your rest will follow. So I don't know if you can see that, Sean, if you can get that down there. See that? It's nice and straight and true. What we'll do then is just put some nails in. That will hold that then. And what we'll do, we're going to go down and we're going to mark where all the roof joists are and then when we put our next board on we'll know where to cut uh, to nail either so what we're going to do um, it's just shorter than two full boards so we'll cut this next board in half and start off with a half board there so the joint's staggered and it's a bit like fitting a laminate floor you're off cut from that side we'll then drop over that side and you work your way forward so so that's it so we're going to blast through that get that roof on and then i'm going to show you fascias and soffits and rubber roof as well so it'll be a full flat roof right so that's the roof completely bodied out. Like I said before, we have used this five minute polyurethane wood glue. It's a nightmare when it goes on your hands, it doesn't come off. We've also used the PAS loader and we've used the 63 mil ring cut nails. We've got little rings on the shank there, which keeps the board nice and tight. Um, so what's happened now, the glue expands and goes up. I'll just show you this bit over here. This is the first bit we did and it goes hard then. So what we'll do then, just get the handsaw and we'll scrape that off like that. What we'll do then, we'll go around, we'll make sure all these nails, I don't know if you can see them, just little bits of paper that have come off nails and little wood burrs. We'll go around, any nails that are high, there's a little sharp point there. We'll go around, rub sander over it, break nails down as well, get rid of any little burrs, any little imperfections. We'll sand all this glue off as well, get rid of the rest of this glue, and then that'll be ready for rubber roofing. John's nipped off now to get the rubber and the soffits and fascias. When he comes back, um, we're going to put the soffits and fascias on him. He's having black UPV soffit and fascia, so I'll show you how to do all that as well. Um, and then we'll rubber roof it. Right, so Amy's sanded the roof. She's got all the glue off. She's got put all the nails down that were proud. She's got rid of any little burrs. She's just getting a little sand now. John's put the soffit on. We've used this 300mm rid soffit there. You can see there we've used some little black poly to top pins. They're fixed to the roof timbers. We're now going to put this full replacement black fascia on right so what we'll use is these 60 mil black poly top pins uh where we space them out it's nice and easy just use your hammer as a distance there hook the black bit on there stand the nail up and just tap it home a little bit and then do your full board so that you've got your full board ready to go and then when you hold it down all your nails are halfway in already and then you can drive it home yeah. right, using full replacement uh, fascia. I've put the nails in a little bit already. We've left the plastic film on until we've got it half fixed. So what we're going to do now, we'll hold it up tight. John will show you there, it's tight to the soffit. Adam, is it flush at that end? Yeah. We're flush. And then what I'll do then, I'm pulling it up tight with my hand. I'll drive the nails in only that far. And then before I've drive them in further, I will then peel off the film. and drive them home and work my way along like that and then I'll get the multi-tool and cut that off and then we'll put the side bits on uh, there with um, little poly top pins but we took the poly top off so we drove that up so that'll be then covered by the fascia when the fascia goes on have, have I covered that there John yeah yeah so what I've done there is that end there is going to butt up to that end of fascia so I've notched a bit out like that so that will sit in there then and then the corner piece will sit over the top of that Again, we've put his nails, pre-nailed it. What we'll do now, we'll hold that over there like that. Amy, can I have a hammer, please? Put that up there, and then so that the corner piece will go over that and cover all that. And again, same scenario again. Tap the nails in. 
<laughs> only a bit. John, John just nearly fell off. Let's step ladder then. Tap the nails in a bit, pull the film off, and then send them home then. You've got to be careful that you don't miss it because you can bruise the fascia quite easily. Leave a hammer mark in it. Can't you hear me? And we'll do that all the way down. And we'll carry on this procedure all the way around the building. We've bought this uh, 150 fascia. It's just low of the roof there, which is perfect for us really because the rubber will just sit over the top then as well. A little corner piece will go on there, cover that. And that'll be a lovely little finish. <laughs> Are you going, John, yeah? Right, so we've put all the fascias and the soffits on and now um, Amy's sanded all the roof, so that's all ready for the rubber. We'll blow that off in a minute. Now we need to put on this two-part gutter trim. So that's the first part, and as in the name sounds, it's a two-part thing. So what I've done, I've pre-screwed it. I'm going to keep that flush with the top of my board. And I'm going to put 60mm screws in there. What we'll do is fix that all the way along. Fix that all the way along, put another piece on there, and then we'll be ready to put this rubber on. Right, so we've got the rubber on the roof. What we're going to do now is stretch it out. Um, just pull that round that side, Amy. Watch you don't go off that roof, will you? That'll be a disaster. Right, Amy, because it's got all that grass on it there, what I want to do is pull this bottom piece out underneath, keep grass on top, and we'll blow it off then, you know what I mean? So pull that tip back now. Hopefully, if we've measured it right, it will fit. You can just pull it too far there, Amy. What we'll do now is we'll make sure it's hanging over everywhere enough. I'm not over here in the plane. How much to you? At least 50 mil. Right. Do you want to give it a little pull to you? Yeah, Amy, just get off it so you can pull it. Right, you there? No, you pull it. You're yeah. pulling it too far off that corner there. I, I, I'm good now. So what we'll do now? We'll just leave that in the sun for a little bit, let it acclimatise, and then we'll roll it back. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to roll it back this way like a carpet halfway, glue that, roll that back down that way and then reverse it on this side and do the same again. Right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to roll the rubber back, uh, much like a carpet, you'd roll a carpet, so we'll get it going and that's it. So once we get a nice roll on it then we'll get onto the roof and roll it. So the weight of the rubber will hold the rubber on the roof and it won't move. What you need to do is make sure there's no crap under it like that. So we'll roll it halfway. You can feel the heat on the sun already now. It's red hot, is that? So we'll roll it to there. What we're going to do now is glue it in strips, roll it back over the glue, brush it flat, brush out any air bubbles, and then when we get over to that side, we'll then roll that side back and do exactly the same. Yeah. Right, so the rubber's rolled back halfway. We're using this water-based permaroof deck adhesive. Uh, we're using an emulsion roller and tray to apply it. What I'll do... I'll just, we'll have to load the roller up a little bit first, but I'm just going to put maybe a 20 inch strip all the way down. And then when I've got to the other end, Amy will then use that long soft brush to brush the rubber over the glue and expel any air bubbles that have come into it. You need to put plenty on, but not leave any pools of glue either. It's baking hot today, so it's going to dry quite rapidly. If you've already put your soft fittings and fascias on, you want to be careful when you go to your edge. Now, I know that they say you've got to use contact adhesive 100 mil around the perimeter, but a guy rang me who was trying to sell me some stuff, and he says, well, why do you need it? Because you're putting your plastic trims on, which we're, we're going to mechanically fix it down. And it made sense, really, so we don't use contact adhesive. So there, she's got a 20-inch strip all the way down. Just catch my breath. She's going to brush, brush it now with that soft brush, put a lot of pressure on it to expel any air bubbles. That'll then bond it down. While she's doing that, I'll go back to this other side now and reapply another 20 inch strip all the way down. Make sure and there's no lumps or debris that have fallen off the tree or anything under it because even though it's a mill thick or so, 
any little lump, the smallest little lump, looks like you've put a big brick under it, so it's awful. So you want to just pick any of them out. Just keep applying it like that, a nice even spread. Really easy to do this. Pretty foolproof, comes in one piece. So she'll again, she'll roll it over now with the brush and then brush it hard. And I know a lot of you are gonna comment, why don't you put the rubber the upside down? Cause it's got numbers on from where it's been manufactured. Well, they're on both sides. So it doesn't matter which way you put it down. There's no right way, there's no wrong way. The rubber comes in one piece. Uh, this roof was five meters by 3.8 so comes in different sizes 3.9 is one of the sizes so that's the size we've gone for plus five meters long gives you a little bit of an overhang there you go there's another strip through there now you can see i don't know if, if john zoomed in you see like an air bubble there can you see that john at all yeah, I'm all right so what she'll do now she'll brush that and brush the air bubble out to obviously take care that you don't step off at the side at roof. If you're going to do one of these yourself, um, if it's a little roof, you probably do it on your own. If it's any size, you probably want to get somebody up to do it. What we'll do then, I'll carry on till we get to the end of the roof. Um, I'll just show you what we do with the end of the roof so we're not stepping on the glue and then we'll repeat the procedure on the other side and then we'll make sure there's no air bubbles in it. I'll then pop on the two part gutter trim, show you how we do that and then that'll be it. Apart from the, the trims that we'll put on, I'll show you them as well. All right, John. Right, so I'm coming to the last strip now. So we've, because we've got fascias and soffits on, you want to go a bit careful because if you roll over the side, you'll get glue all over the fascia and soffit and that's it, it ain't coming off. You made the balls out of it, so what you want to try and avoid. Problem with this is look, tree look, crap falling down all the time. You don't want that under your rubber. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna almost paint myself into a corner. There look, little branch in the ass. I'm gonna get rid of them leaves because that's got glue on now and it's gonna go down on the roof. So what I'll do now, put my glue over there. Make sure you've applied it evenly everywhere. You can feel it tacking off now because I stood on a bit. You can feel it tacking off under my feet. So I'm going to get myself into a corner now. Step back onto the rubber so we're safe. Do corner. If you're listening and you bought a pack off me, I'm, I'm on with them now. I'm just there's quite a lot to do, but you'll you'll get it. I've received most of your replies. Just a few more outstanding, but we're nearly there. Right, so that's all that glue on that side. Amy's going to rub it off now. Um, I'll just pop this over here. So you can see like there's a little air bubble there. So what she'll do, she'll just brush the air bubbles out with that soft brush. You need to use a soft brush though. Some there, Amy. Look, you get, because it's folded at factory, you've got a crease down middle and you've got to put a bit of work into that to try and get rid of that. You're not going to completely get rid of it. You see, she's putting a lot of effort in it there to push it out, look. Um, you see there now, look, you see what she's done now, look, because she's, she's putting that much effort into it, she's now created a bubble, so... What we'll do is put, take it off her. She's new, she's new. <laughs> right, but that's it, basically. So all bubbles are out of there. What we're going to do now is put us glue over here, roll that side back, reapply that side the same way, and that's it, that's your roof bonded down. Right, John. Right, so we've rolled the rubber about this way as well. Um, so that's where the original line is. Uh, you, Adam, just be quiet a minute. I'll just put my mic near there. You might be able to hear it pulling off. So you can hear that. Well, so what we're going to do, we're going to pull it back a touch just to reveal the glue line. There you go. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a quick stripe of glue down there for Amy to brush it over. And then we can start off again then. 
So what we've done, we've pulled it back maybe 25 mil to where the original glue line was from when we first started. We've applied another line now. What Amy will do now is brush that over just a little bit, just to push that little bit down that we've just pulled up. But you can hear it pulling off, I assume you could hear it anyway. So what we'll do now, I'll return back to do my 20 inch stripe. Really easy to do this. Gives you a one piece rubber roof membrane so you've got no joints in it. There's only joint in a bit one that's done in factory and that ain't ever going to leak, it's done on the machine, it's perfect. Getting too old for this meal. Right, so that's another 20 inches done there now. So what she'll do now is roll that and make sure we ain't got no air bubbles where the old glue meets the new glue. And if, she, if we have him, he'll just expel them then. There you go. And I'll go back over this side now and start again, another stripe. Rubber's bonded to the roof now, so we let it overhang a bit. What we're going to do now, manufacturers recommend you cut it off and leave it 50 mil. So I'm cutting it off using a Stanley knife. Just gauging it, you know, you don't have to measure it, just whatever you think it looks like 50 mil. As long as it's going over at front, then it's going to be mechanically fixed with this... Um, curb trim which I'll show you what we've got now so the roof's 4.8 so these come at 3.5 or 2.5 we've got 3.5 so we're going to split it so that the joint is in the center so what happens now it's little, just a little bit of a plastic thing like that with a slotted hole in the reason for the slotted hole is when you nail it you need to nail it in the center of the slotted hole so that when the sun comes the plastic can still move can you see that John the plastic can still move and expand with the heat so like I say, we've tri tripped that off 50 mil. Drop that over now. Keep it so it's tight there on that side. Use these poly top pins. Um, where's it all? There it is. Go for the center. Drive that in. But you'll watch now, look. I've not put it all the way home. And then that will then allow the plastic to move in the heat when it expands. So what we'll do, we'll do that all the way along. There's some jointing strips there which will join them too. They cover them and there's some corner strips and I'll show you the corner details and we'll also put the, um, the two pack gutter trim on round the back in a minute as well. Right John. Are we going? Yeah. Right, so we're putting the two pack gutter trim, we've put the first part on already, the rubber's hanging over. What I've done, I've cut the rubber in line with that line there. So then we get this second part. So the idea behind this is it tucks in there, clips in there, but it holds the rubber in as well. So, I mean, it's a warm day to day, but when you're doing this, if, if you're doing this in winter, it's a different kettle of fish all together. You've got to force it up like that and then tap it in there. I don't know if you can see that's gone in there. So it's trapped the rubber up that groove there, clipped in there. Just pull it back up again like that. These are always harder there where, where the, you know, on the factory seam, where the rubber's been joined in the factory. So it's pushing and it'll clip in like that. That got in all right there, John. I can't see from up here. It feels a bit. Right, so keep pulling it out. But like I say, you've got to put a lot of pressure on there. Do this in the winter when it's colder and the plastic doesn't want to bend. It's a bloody nightmare. If you get that piece all the way along. Forcing it up into the groove. I have had it break on me in winter. So that's that's one piece in now. You can see it's clipped in there and it's tucked the rubber up there. So we'll cut another piece for this. Tuck that in as well. And then what will happen there, your rain will run down there, off that and drop into your gutter. Lovely. Okay, so that's the curb trim on. So we've now got to tidy up this little detail there. So what we've got is... Um, these corner profiles so they'll just what I've done I've cut it a little bit longer than it needs to be and what I'll do I'll just pull them trims up there tuck that in like that get myself a little poly top nail tap that home one on this side as well That'll be enough to hold that now, and then there's this little corner piece that goes over the curb trim. So that sits like that. What I found with these is sometimes they shatter, so what we do is pilot drill a hole, just through both lengths of plastic, stop them from shattering. 
poly top in, send it home, one on this side. I'm only going through both layers of plastic there. Another poly top, the 40 mil long, these poly tops. Just find that way with that hole where it was. And there you go, that's all your corner detail, all tidy and nice and clean. Soffit, fascia, corner trims, curb stands, rubber roof. That's all complete now. So I'll carry on with the back, the other two corners. And then that's as rubber, watertight and finished. Thank you. Yeah, we're going? Yeah, so that's the plastic soffit, fascia, rubber roof on. That's got it's all its corner trims. Finish them off with black poly top pins. We've tidied up the corners with corner trims. We've put a 300 piece hollow soffit board on there. We'll drop some spotlights in there, some downlighters. Um, like I say, it's one piece rubber roof. It ain't gonna leak. No joints or seams. Nice tidy finish. The seed will run up to that then. And on the back here, we have put a, look, got a two pack gutter trim. So the water will run down there, run off that. And that's where the gutter will sit and it will collect there and then fall into a fall pipe. So that's it. That's your roof and your rubber and your fascia and your soffit all completed. Um, easy to follow instructions, I'd like to think. So if you'd like to like, if you like, subscribe and follow, that'd be fantastic. And also, if you would like, do me a favour, if you can just go on my Instagram and follow me on that, as that'll be doing me a massive favour. Thank you. Cheers.